And now uh, I'm very happy to invite uh, Dr. So Young Kim. Uh, she will present the uh, strategies as well as how they managed the COVID-19 with also communications as, as well. Good morning and good afternoon and good night. I'm So Young Kim, professor of College of Medicine and Graduate School of Public Health of Yonsei University. It's a great honor to join this meeting today. I will introduce uh, Korean national management structure and communication with public. And this PowerPoint contains sources uh, provided by Korean CDC and Korean government. Uh, this, this table shows us the Korean national management structure during the severe level in order to ensure the most efficient and seamless response to the crisis, all infection control activities are implemented under the authority of the Central Disease Control Headquarters, led by the head of the Korean CDC. The Central Disaster and Safety Encounter Headquarters, led by the Prime Minister, is also set up to promptly provide full pan governmental support. By one of the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters and head of the Central Disaster Management and Headquarters, Ministry, Minister of Health and Repair, support infection control activities of the Central Disease Control Headquarters. While uh, Vice Head 2 of the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters and Head of the Pan Governmental Countermeasure and Support Headquarters, Minister of the Interior and Safety, is in charge of assisting cooperation between central ministries and local governments. Local governments have formed local disaster and countermeasure headquarters, each headed by the respect respective city mayor or governor to deal with this crisis with all infection control measures available. Healthcare units at local governments are focused on infection control and other units are tasked with providing administrative support for the management of those under safe, uh, safe isolation, etc. This table shows us the Department of the Central Disease Control Headquarters led by the head of the Korean CDC. This is the summary of the COVID-19 management policy, monitoring, epidemiological investigation, management, education, public relations, and cooperation. Here you can see the photos of drive-through testing site. Such sites have been con constructed to ensure early patient detection. This is what happens when you are at one of the si such sites. The photo The photo on the bottom right, you see a car arriving at the site. At the, at the entrance, the driver will be asked why he or she is there and his or her history will be taken prior to sample collection. As you can see in the first photo on the top of left, once you enter a drive-through site, a doctor collects sample from the driver, the person who is there for COVID-19 testing. On the bottom left, you can see cars lining up to get testing. This slide outlines the steps involved in, the, in contact tra tracing in Korea. First step is investigation. During this phase, Epidemic Intelligence Service Officer obtains patient's infection route through interview. During the second phase, risk assessment takes place based on data collect collected from the patient while also checking and verifying patient's statements. The third phase is about tracking infection source and screening content. This is done by identifying confirmed cases where about based on their credit card, use history, surveillance cameras, and 
mobile phone location information. After identification, information is disclosed transparently, apparently, to prevent, uh, prevent additional infections. The last step is management of all those who had been in contact with all confirmed patients. Those who have been in contact with all confirmed patients have to self isolation isolate for movement restriction. And the contact uh, contact get a call for from personal from uh, from personal from a public health center twice a day for health status check. This slide shows the smart quarantine information system that was established after the MERS outbreak in 2015. After this outbreak, the government learned that the information has to be better collected and collect, collected and uh, controlled and collected and amended the uh, infection, Infectious Disease Prevention and Control Act. This, in this system, all infection, infectious disease-related data is automatically transmitted to and stored at K Korean CDC. The amendment allowed uh, information to come from the Ministry of Justice, National Quarantine Station, Health Insurance Review and Assessment Service, and National Health Insurance Corporation. Here you can see a safe health, health check app for foreigners. It is mandatory for all inbound travelers from overseas to download this app at the quarantine zone in the, in the airport. After that, special quarantine form, form has to be filled out in the quarantine zone as well. In such a form, a person is required to fill out where she, he or he, she is going to stay and his or her Korean phone number. The next step takes place once the traveler get, gets to his place, he or she has to report his status, has to report whether they have fever, cough, sore throat, or dyspnea. This is a daily survey they have to submit twice a day. Last step allows visitors to check where the clinic they, clinics they can visit for COVID-19 screenings are. In order to resolve public anxiety and provide accurate information for infection prevention, our government officers are striving to reach out to the public in an all-directional effective manner. Domestic law, infectious disease control and prevention okay. ensures the public right to be informed about the latest development of and response to outbreak and infection control. The government also man, man, mandates the disclosure of the whereabout means of transportation, healthcare institutions visited, and contacts of confirmed cases. The government shares the latest information, number of patients, number of those under isolation, on number of diagnostic tests, whereabout of confirmed cases, etc., and relevant measures through regular briefing that takes place twice a day by the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters in the morning and the Central Disease Control Headquarters in the afternoon, and the frequent distribution of press release as well as by, by a website, SNS, channels, and portal site. Our government officers are distributing customized uh, promotional materials for daycare centers, schools, healthcare institutions, pharmacies, etc., and delivering information through a range of easily accessible media, television, radio, trains, trains buses, etc. They are also actively using YouTube channels. They are offering counseling for and receiving reports from the public and healthcare institution through public health centers and the Korean City Call Center. They are strong stringently respond to fake news, which lead to excessive public anxiety and cause fusion, confusion in infection control. Though the pan-governmental cooperation system that encompasses Korean communication com 
Commission, the National Polish Agency, and the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism. This is Korean social distancing campaign. Korean's campaign focuses on voluntary participation of people. Main message revolve around how people need to keep two meter distance from each other and avoid, avoid physical contact, night out, religious gathering, as well as indoor fitness facilities. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you all your, for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kim.